Good morning, everyone. I'm Anusha Roy, live here in A Basin. All morning long, we've been talking about how climate change is impacting different industries, including the ski industry. They are definitely not the only ones, though. We're going to be going across the metro area, talking about how businesses have been losing revenue because climate change has impacted them so directly and so much. But the good news is they're really hoping to set an example for you as well. Next, we're going to head to the zoo. An overcast day filled with Halloween decorations and lions soaking in the fall weather is a relief. Absolutely. We look at year-round programming. It's about we are a 365, 24-7 day campus. When we were stuck in a loop of 90 degree days or hotter, the zoo started to see the number of visitors drop by roughly 1,100 people on those days. And they realized that changing weather patterns were changing their revenue. Our staff is on the lookout if people start to experience signs of dehydration. Yeah. The zoo's chief operating office Sir Crystal Torres de Herrera said they needed to bump up opening time to 7.30 a.m. They kept the zoo open longer into the evening and hope more people will take advantage of Halloween and holiday lights to make up for the lost business. Yes, we want to invite the community here every day. De Herrera said with roughly 1.7 million people visiting every year, they have a really big platform to talk about climate change. Our horticulture team has done such an amazing job really being thoughtful about the kind of plantings that we do here and also about our water usage, we have we have really important sustainability goals that we are trying to meet. We're being very aggressive about that. The zoo is in the process of planting as much native landscaping as possible, and they're even finding plants that thrive in places like West Texas and Arizona as they plan for the future in Colorado. They hope in between the animals, visitors will pay attention, maybe even get inspiration for their own yards. You will see us continue to, we have one of the largest tree canopies in Denver. That tree canopy, that is such a game changer because when we hit those really hot stretches, right, we're talking about 90 degrees or hotter, those neighborhoods without enough tree canopy filled with pavement can end up being 10 degrees hotter than other parts of the city. And that is typically happening in underinvested areas in and around Denver. And you have to remember, Nicole, that some of these houses that were built a really long time ago, they weren't actually built for these kinds of climates. So then it becomes really hard for a family to stay in their house for days that it's either really cold or super hot. Yeah, that's true. Well, how can people get involved in the solutions here, Anusha? Yeah, there's a couple of things you, you could look into, right? There's a group called the Park People that really works on planting trees. The city of Denver just got a $5 million federal grant. That's going to come with some volunteer opportunities for building out that tree canopy throughout the city as well. And then Energy Outreach Colorado could be a really good source for folks to, to check out, Nicole, because they can help you kind of change your home and make it a little bit more climate resilient, but at the same time do it as affordable as possible.